Hello there, everyone. It's good to be with you on this Thursday morning of the atmospheric river. Oh my goodness, wasn't that a terrifying experience on Tuesday night into Wednesday morning of the great storm blowing through our valley? I don't know where what it was like where you are, but certainly here it it felt like a tornado going through and this was only 60 or 70 miles an hour winds. I cannot begin to imagine what it's like to be in a tornado or a hurricane and experience uh, wind speeds maybe up to double that. Uh, we had um, a medium-sized limb fall off our tree outside the front of the house onto the garage roof, which made a great crashing sound. So I was filled with foreboding as I went to our garage. Uh, to see what the damage might be and luckily there was no damage it fell on the roof and actually blew off the roof a little later. I hope uh, none of you have experienced too much damage other than some shaking nerves. It made me think about that hymn that I've spoken about before by Charles Albert Tindley called When the Storms of Life Are Raging. It, it's a powerful hymn and I think it's a good hymn for us to remember in the midst of the raging storm of the pandemic, the raging storm of racism engulfing our nation, the raging storm of economic calamity for so many people, where there's still a lot of uncertainty about what the future holds. But when I think about uh, our struggle, I, I think about the man who wrote the hymn, uh, Charles Albert Tindley. He was born in 1851, right before the Civil War. His father was a slave and his mother was a, a free woman. And there were fears that the little boy would be uh, pushed into slavery. Uh, but as things turned out after his father's death, when he was age eight, he was moved around from one family member to another to avoid being pushed into any kind of servitude following the Civil War. He never went to school. He never went to college or anything like that. He married at age 17 and moved with his wife to Philadelphia, where he became the sexton, the custodian at the Bainbridge Methodist Episcopal Church. He was highly motivated, and he taught himself to read, to study, and then finally uh, taught himself both Hebrew and Greek. I mean, the guy was a genius. And even though he never went to seminary, he taught himself uh, so much of theological understanding so that he could take the exams that were then being set by the Methodist Church to become a pastor. And to cut a long story short, in I think it was 1901, he moved to Philadelphia and became the pastor of the church where he had been sexton. Uh, when he was there earlier, there were 130 members. By the time he left, had over 10,000 members. And that's still there today in Philadelphia called Tindley Temple. So as our prayer today, uh, I, I would just read the words of the hymn and see how they speak to you and me. He says, when the storms of life are raging, stand by me. When the storms of life are raging, stand by me. When the world is tossing me like a ship upon the sea, thou who rulest wind and water, stand by me. In the midst of tribulation, stand by me. When the hosts of hell assail me and my strength begins to fail, thou who never lost a battle, stand by me. In the midst of faults and failures, stand by me. When I do the best I can and my friends misunderstand, thou who knowest all about me, stand by me. In the midst of persecution, stand by me. When my foes in battle array undertake to stop my way, Thou who saved Paul and Silas, stand by me. And the last verse says this, When I'm growing old and feeble, stand by me. When my life becomes a burden and I'm nearing chilly Jordan, 
O thou lily of the valley, stand by me. You see, uh, Tindley had a very strong sense of the presence of God in his life. And as we go through storms, like on Tuesday night, or like the pandemic, we simply turn to God and invite God's presence in the depths of our souls. So that we're not facing the, the tumult alone. And when the winds rage and the torrents pour down, we can know that we're not alone. As I said, I've never been in a hurricane or a tornado, but I have been in disastrous earthquakes. I have been in the midst of a coup d'etat in an African country. I have been in the midst of very violent episodes in the community where I was living. And it's always a powerful reality to remember that God is with us on the journey through the darkest days, through the most difficult days, as well as those where the sun is shining brightly. I invite you to join me in prayer. Let's pray together. God, we give you thanks that you are with us through the storms and the tribulations, through the horrors of the pandemic and sickness and death, through all the struggles that beset us, we can know that we can turn to you in prayer and know that you are with us, guiding us, loving us, giving us hope and giving us confidence in the midst of the storm. So we pray for your blessing on each one of us, each home represented as part of the St. Mark's community. May we sense that we do indeed stand by you and you stand by us as we engage the future with confidence, without fear, and with that hope that your love, your justice, your peace will prevail. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I wish you a holy and blessed day and look forward to being with you in worship this weekend. <laughs>